everybody. It is Thursday, the 27th of January, 2022, 10 a.m. in the morning. Wow, last Thursday, I think. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. That's why I had to water down here. All right, everyone. So, a uh, real quick thing is, and I'm going to find out a little more information about this later, is um, the there's three executives that resigned from YouTube like Google and like moved on. I know one of them was the one in charge of like the YouTube gaming, which they were trying to compete with Twitch, which has not been going very well. So they asked him to step down. No, he's becoming CEO of something else. I, I'm not sure. I'll, I'll find out a little oh, bit more. Saw the handwriting on the wrong side of the jump ship. Probably. I don't know. I don't know the full details. Uh, I'm not even going to talk about the G4 thing. That That's still an ongoing battle. And everyone else is covering it, so unless it gets really juicy, I'm not going to say anything. I will say this uh, real quick, though. There's also another topic is, I don't know the actor's name, and I'll look up it for this for our next podcast, but um, you know the the guy, uh, the actor, he was in Infinity War. No, yeah, Infinity War. He played the giant dwarf. He was also in Game of Thrones. You know what I'm talking about? He was a good actor and everything. Do you know in the new Snow White series, uh, he didn't. Um, he complained the new the new Snow White movie. He complained to Disney and, and they caved in where he didn't want dwarfs in, basically saying it was demeaning to uh, people with dwarfism and everything. Even though the fact is, it's not people who uh, the creatures are not uh, people with dwarfism. They're dwarfs, like the mystical, like from but, mythology. But, no, from mythology. Yeah, he said it was degrading and backwards, and yeah, so th- th- that's like a whole thing we can get into for the next podcast. Uh, today we're going to talk about, though, is Netflix. Uh, now, first off, Netflix lost a lot of subscribers. I know Disney's been lo- losing subscribers, too, uh, left and right, partially because the rates have gone up in certain areas, and, you know, with, uh, <clears throat> you know, inflation and everything, and then interest rates going up in March, and yes, everybody, I'm not even joking there, you can check it on that, interest rates are, are going up to, how much. yeah, to battle inflation, and I, I'm, I will not get into that, because that's a whole business subject, and I will bore everybody to tears with that one, <laughs> all right. Yeah, I will, and I'll get on. A t- I'll get on a tirade, and I'll start uh, letting curse words slide. Okay, so uh, talking about <laughs> Netflix, as some of y'all know, um, Hasbro has moved Power Rangers from Nickelodeon uh, to Netflix. Now, Power Rangers has been on Nickelodeon for about a decade now. Uh, it, you know, they come from Disney because uh, when Saban got the rights back to it, and that started at Samurai. To Megaforce, um, to uh, Dino Charge, Ninja Steel, and then Hasbro took over for Beast Morphers in this new one, Dino Fury. Which we're, I think, halfway through the first season of Dino Fury, and I'm enjoying it. Hmm. What about you? It's it's a cute little little show. I'll say the, the choreography's good on it. The story's oh, yeah. not bad. Yeah. I mean, it, it's nothing to strain the brain over. Well, I mean, Pirates oh. never really was. No, no. no I'm wasn't. sorry, it's still not as good as the first couple of seasons. Like, the story writing that is. The actors are good. I'll, I'll definitely give them that. Uh, I'm enjoying all the all the actors and how they're portraying their, their characters that they have. And that, that's... It's a kid show, but you know, so I mean, the I'm, people are doing a good job. Do you, all the all the Rangers I've met have been always been real nice, and they enjoyed it. They said it was a lot of fun. Uh, the impression it, I get they have way too much fun. Oh yeah, they yeah, they so. always do. Uh, now Netflix is ta- it, it's going to be going on the Netflix everybody, uh, which I think it is now. I think they're streaming or soon streaming. I'm not sure I don't have Netflix, the uh, new season on the Netflix. Eventually, it will go to YouTube uh, because a lot of the older Power Ranger content is being put on the official Mighty Morphin Power Rangers YouTube channel that Hasbro is allowing. Hasbro also is doing this for Transformers and G.I. Joe. Uh, hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can listen. Yeah. Uh Yeah. 
Trek, yeah. But the difference is with, uh, you, and they're planning on going a little more adult, they said. They don't want the super kitty-friendly episodes. Now, if anybody doesn't know... Not as silly. Yeah, not as silly, because there's sometimes it, it does get a little too, like, eh. Three and five-year-old. No, not not that silly. Not not Peppa Pig or SpongeBob, but I mean it. It. it, <laughs> it, it, it uh, yeah, you know what I mean. No, I don't mean that. Uh-uh. Yeah, no, and I guess the whole thing is though is I don't mind if it goes a little more serious and adult, because the seasons like uh, Power Rangers Zio had a, had a lot of seri- had had some serious episodes. Um, the two seasons um, on top of my head. Actually, I can talk three. Um, a lot of the Disney era stuff were very serious because you know they, they, you know, especially when it came to uh, SPD, Mystic Force, and Jungle Fury, has some very serious consequences on things. Jungle Fury not as much as SPD and Mystic Force. Uh, well, it's going to depend on what topic they choose to be serious about. Or how they're going to be serious. Well, see, that's the whole thing. I know Hasbro's probably going to have a bigger budget uh, with it being on Netflix. My worry is, you know, they have a whole pool of that they can they can pull it from. I mean, everyone, you got the Mighty Morphin. I mean, are they going to do stories? Is this going to be an original series? Are they going to pull stories from... Um, the other series. The other series and maybe make an animated series. I can see them do that with an animated series. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, like one season you focus on, like, adventures that d- happen to, like, the Zeo Rangers or the Mighty Morphin crew. Uh, but there's also, like, series that they can pull out from the Super Sentai that they never covered over here. Now, one was the uh, series that was before um, Power Rangers. Now... I'm talking about the Japanese version of it, the Super Sentai version. The season before uh, was called Jetman, and it was really good. Now, uh, a character does die in Jetman, but in the original Power Rangers run, guess what? The Green Ranger died. Aww. Well, he died a hero- he, he, Yeah. Heroic. Oh, yeah. I mean, well, the, the sword was a lot darker. Uh, yeah. I mean, you see, you've watched the first Japanese episode with me. It was a lot yeah. darker. Oh yeah. Uh, it was good though. Uh, but my question is, how are they going to do this? Because you know as well as I do, kids are not stupid. Okay. Kids can handle a lot more than what parents think they can. You and don't if give them credit for. Yeah, I mean. Well, with the, with the internet, with smartphones, and laptops. Really, people. I want you. Yeah, uh, they have more access to uh, information than what I did when I was their age. I mean, even we were teaching Taekwondo full time. Oh yeah. Um, before economy tanked. Uh, how many? How many of our like like six and seven year old kids like? We look at them and like, dear, you know, dear Lord, like you know, I mean, how they were. I mean, they could handle stuff. They were smart. You had a couple of kids, you know. They bean heads. You had you had bean heads. Yeah, um, <laughs> I'm talking about one of my students, AJ. AJ, for some reason, if you're listening, dude. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I won't talk about you. Um, no, he wasn't stupid. Everybody, he was just more carefree. You had more. You, we had a lot who were carefree kids, okay. But you had some that could handle stuff. I mean, we had one. Um, they put some adults to shame. Oh, gee, yeah, yeah. Uh, but but that's scary. I know. So, I mean, I mean, what do you think of that? Because I mean, there's a whole bunch of. I mean, there's like over. There's like thirty years worth of Power Ranger stuff that they could pull from. I mean, are you okay with it? You know, as a adult, as a grandparent now, I know you just love hearing that term. I'm getting the most evil look, everybody. Um, Your time is coming. I'm working on that. Thank you very much. Okay. All right. Hopefully in the next couple of years. Uh, let's see. What was I saying? Uh, see, you made me lose my train of thought. What's your opinion on it? I mean, are you okay with Power Rangers being more than what it is now? Like, maybe more 
I think it needs to be. If they do that, they'll bring back the people that grew up with it and say, hey, you know, this is a little more adult version of what I grew up with. Okay, so so you wouldn't mind if it was around... What, what I'm saying is, I would like the story to be a little bit more in keen to, like... Story now. I'm not talking about like exact story, but I'm talking about story level. Keep like some of the anime we watch. It doesn't have to be like su super like. It doesn't have to be um like. Uh no, I was gonna say it don't have to be like Ghost in the Shell like where you have to sit there and like listen uh on on some of this stuff. Not that it's intense. It's just that it's that involved. Yeah, I don't want it like that adult. Though a Power Ranger that adult would would that would be kind of interesting. Uh. I would think they would gander, what's the word, gander the audience if it was that involved. But it may be something a little bit more, I guess, closer to uh, even like My Hero Academia. Oh, yeah. Well, My, my Hero Academia is kind of already there. Well, yeah, as it is. Um, Black Clover, Bleach. Yeah. Definitely Bleach, because... Yeah. Bleach coming back in October 2022, everybody. Uh, but that's, Bleach is involved, and it's involved on the long haul. Oh, yeah, which we got to get back on that, by the way. Oh, uh, other things. But you, know, you have Boom Studios, which I have a couple of the comics. Um, they've introduced, like, new rangers into the group, uh, into the storyline. Like, they've introduced the um, Lord... Lord Draken, Draken, everybody. If you guys don't know who that is, it is an alternate timeline evil version of Tommy Oliver who has the Green Ranger powers and the White Ranger powers. That's a heck of a combo. Okay, remember the uh, fan film, uh, fan series we watched, Unworthy? Yeah. All right, so you remember that White Ranger that got <laughs> that got stabbed by the Arbiter? Yeah. That was Draken. He was going from different uh, realities so he can get more power. Of course, there's more than one dragon, you know. Uh, you've got that. You also have the um, the Omega Rangers, which are the original um, the original one of the original Earth teams. Because in Boom Studios, there's a team before, but uh, I don't know much about them. It was Jason, uh, Trini, and Zach when they leave to go to the. Uh, peace talks and everything mm -hmm. they uh instead it was a cover for their mission because they basically went from power rank mighty morphin to the omega level because zordon trusted them enough hmm. new basically that they're stronger than the mighty morphin rangers they're an elite group of yeah no, no, <laughs> no. They, they, they really are in it, and I mean, they would be the special forces of the Power Rangers. One of the special forces, yeah. Yeah, one of the special forces. But I mean, you got Boom Studios doing stuff like that, which I got to get caught back up on that stuff. But anyway, I do have a worry though with Netflix because. I feel like Netflix is not shy from wanting, and I know Hasbro's talked about it too, is more worried about wokeism getting in. Like, I'm more, you know, I want it to be Power Rangers fighting monsters. Yeah, you, I mean, you can have a little drama involved, but I want it to be more focused on the Modern martial. Social issues. I do not want it to be focused a whole six episodes on a social issue when you have a have a part of my friends are a damn monster destroying the city, killing people. Exactly. Oh, but I, I, I'm offended. You know what? Everybody get over it. We got a job to do. We'll talk about this later. You know. That's what I was laughing about, too. Just knowing how certain people are. Oh, I know. I, I would have some people, if they were Power Rangers... Well, he offends me and everything. Can we talk about this later? Uh, we we, we got to save like millions of people's lives now. No, you can do it without me. I'm sorry if I'm the leader. As soon as it's done, 
You're off the team. You can't do that. I want to find a replacement. You're gone. You're gone. You are on thin ice. Or somebody else used to say, you're fired. Or a fact is, yeah, I might do both. I might look at both of them. You know what? Because you two's bickering, you cost all these people's lives and everything. You know what? You're both fired. Boom. I'm going to find your replacements. Shouldn't be about all this social mess that's going on right now. It should just be. I don't, I don't mind a positive message, okay? Oh, yeah. And that's even something they do in the Super Sentai, all right? Yeah. But I wanted to focus more on, like, them trying to stop the monster or, you know, the bad guy, the overall scheme type of thing. Just keep it simple. You don't have to be too involved in all the social junk. Well, the original series, you know, they had problems they dealt with, but they had it linked to what the monster was. Right. Uh, and that was something I, I really liked, especially about the first couple of seasons. You know, they, they showcased the problem, how they would solve it. And, yeah, I mean, they, they do something at the end on the when they were demorphed side. You know what? And I, I know some people are going to say uh, the leader should be a woman. I, you know what? I don't care. I don't care if the Red Ranger's a girl or not. I don't care if the Red Ranger's black or anything. I care about the care as long as the character is well written and the actor uh, does a good job portraying them. That's all I care about. Make it entertaining. Make it fun. You know? It's not a a social, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Social spectacle? <laughs> well, that too. Social spectacle activism. Well, you know, I, I remember when the Power Rangers first came out, they were saying that how um, it was racist for Zack to be the Black Ranger. And um, because he was black. And I've, I've met Walter Jones uh, twice, everybody. I mean, he's a stand-up. He's a funny guy. Um, he really is. And he th I know he said he thought about it a little bit. Wait a minute, I'm black, I'm wearing the black. That's kind of... But then he realized, like, wait a minute, I can give, you know... A very positive, positive image. Image to the, you know... Hey, I'm, I'm a black two guy. Two black people. Two, so but, you know, I'm a black guy who's a, who's a superhero. You know, and, you know, I know they say because Trini, because she is, uh, uh, I want to say she was Vietnamese. I think she was. No, no. Um, because she was yellow and everything, you know, yellow, Asian, you know. Yeah. Um, and I don't, uh, if I, from what I understand, Tui, I think I'm saying her name right, didn't think about that either. I mean, she Anybody, you know, you'll never hear anybody talk bad about her, though. I mean, yeah. especially out of the original, you know, cast, people who worked with her. I mean, the, you know, from my understanding, she's like the big sister of the group. I mean, I want to say... I want to say, I think the first Black Red Ranger was the, the second Turbo Red Ranger, TJ. I didn't have an issue with him. He what, was he, what difference does it make? He was a good leader. Yeah. He took he took a uh, Tommy's position. He was a good leader. Yeah, he went to Blue Ranger uh for space, but he still had that leader, you know quality. Quality about him. It was all about it was about teamwork. Uh let's see. I think the first female Red Ranger appeared in Samurai and she was on it for a little bit. Well, oh, see, that's the whole thing. Is though, is uh, speak a little closer into the mic. Uh, I mean, the, I know the reboot movie, what well, it had potential. It wasn't bad. The movie we saw in theaters, yeah, it wasn't bad. Yeah. 
I now did I want it to be like an extra forty five minutes long? I, I think me and you both did. Yeah. I thought the ending was a little quick. I was like, wait a minute now. I, I, they left something out. They kind of rushed it up. It, it led up to this point, and it's like, oh, okay, we're gonna get this, and it's just kind of I had that look like. That's it. That's it. I was expecting at least like a like a thirty forty five minute, you know, like. Well, no, there's something else. They running out of money or something? Uh, I don't know. I think I think Saban was trying to focus more on. We gotta show the Zords. We gotta, I, you know, I actually wanted them to fight more. And only give me the only my my only issue with with with, with that movie. My only issue was Goldark. That was my only issue. I did not the way like the way Goldar looked. That was my only issue with the whole entire movie. Um, other than that, I I, I actually liked it. But uh, personally, I think if they focus more on the story and less on the social, you know, we got to do representation here and everything. No, we're we're focused on making the story first. That stuff needs to be secondary, in my opinion. Political. Instead of making it politically correct. No, and that, that, that's my only worry about Netflix, is I'm afraid they're going to put that political correctness in. And yes, everybody, I know people are going to be like, well, you know, cartoons have always tackled issues. It's okay to tackle an issue, everybody, but there's also a point where you can over-tackle an issue, where you can turn your audience away. Oh. Away, I even know, and I'm not lying, but I even know people who are on the other side of the spectrum, political wise. They hear this stuff and they're like, "Oh, geez, come on, that's not what I'm watching this show for," you know. Get over it, people. I want to kind of get away from that for a little while. Well, it's just like if it's supposed to be entertainment. Well, here's the whole thing. Is when you make a defining character and you're like, well, this person is this. Okay, what else about them? Well, they're, they're this. They, they, they represent you. Okay, how? You know, it's like... Why? Well, yeah. it's, they, make, they make it one-dimensional. Yes. Okay, and that's what I'm kind of worried about. I mean, Netflix does some good stuff, but at the same time, I'm just... I'm on the fence about it. I mean, come on, Cowboy Bebop flopped. Yeah. It flopped so bad, there's going to be no second season. I don't know, you hear how bad it flopped. Well, they shot themselves in the foot. Well, that's what they did. They they focused too much on the wokeism and changing up certain things up. Um, I've seen some some really bad reviews about it. I haven't watched it yet. I don't know if I want to watch it. Uh, so have your bark bag handy. Yeah, you know we might watch it and and then we can be like, what the f was that? <laughs> what the fudge? We'll get caught up on some other stuff first, though. Oh, yeah. Before we torture ourselves. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we can... We'll, we'll <laughs> Got it. <laughs> All right. Um, anything else you want to add to the convo, Dad? No. I can't think of anything off the top of my head. It's going to be one of those wait and see what they're going to do with it. Yeah. But I, I'm hoping it turns out good. I mean, especially now that the Ranger community, like, as a large, is really growing. Um, you know, Power Rangers is entering its 30th year this year, this next yeah. year. Uh, I mean, I was in third grade, everybody, when Power Rangers came out. And I fell in love with the series. I was hoping, because I remember it was, it was only like a, like a special. Yeah. And then... Uh, it's like, oh, it's a special, you know, and I already know Saban was making, like, more stuff, and then it became, like, full swing a couple months later. Um, I enjoyed it. I mean, I was, yeah, everyone, I was one of the Power Ranger. You know, I didn't get all the toys or anything um, when I was a kid, you know, just wasn't able to, you know. I'm not complaining, Dad. Oh, no. 
but um, I enjoyed the series. Like I watched it pretty much almost every day. Yeah, you did. It was one of the shows I, I, I you know, uh, but with the fan, the fans making their own stuff. Some of that's pretty doggone good too. Oh uh, yeah, we gotta get back on Unworthy. There's okay. uh blood, blood, um, blood of the grid, which we gotta watch. Which when we met the Silver Ranger from space this past year, he told us to watch it. We have not watched it yet. Sorry about that, man. Uh, <laughs> we will get on that. A lot of things got in the way. Um, the same group that's doing Blood of the Grid, uh, I know they're working on another one called Shattered Past, uh, the first Ninja, and I mean, they're, they're getting some, um... Good content out. Yeah, they're getting some of the original cat, like, like, actors to come back, and actresses, you know, all, all of them. Uh, I think you got, yeah... Because the one part of Blood of Grid is called, it's part of the Power Ranger Expanded Universe. Uh, uh, so, I don't know, we'll, we'll just have to see. Uh, I know there's a guy in, I want to say he's in Georgia. He has a movie coming out called of his own personal Power Ranger group called uh, Jammers. Uh, so, that's supposed to be coming out here pretty soon. Now, so... Everyone, I tell you what, if you're a big Power Rangers fan or if you're not, uh, tell me what you think about this with it going from Nickelodeon to Netflix. Now, we all know Nickelodeon is not what it used to be, okay? Uh, do you like it to where it might be more like PG-13 in some sense on storylines and everything? You know, it might be more akin to maybe what you would see on the CW, but better. Um, did, I, did I say that? Uh, I mean, the... T- no. <laughs> t- 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 tell us what you think everybody in the comment section below uh, you can also leave a comment on our Facebook page anything you want to add real quick no, be safe uh, yeah be, be safe you, you said peace safe. Be, be safe okay everybody please if you uh, can hit that subscribe button and hit that like button it really does help us out beat the um, YouTube algorithm yeah which is burying us so bad So with that said, everybody, have a wonderful rest of your day. We will see you on Saturday. We are out.